All right, guys, welcome. Remember, it's a math channel, and I'll be focusing on city and guilds until the exam August 7. So I'll be posting a few videos until August 7 and the examination. And then we'll start back in September. So I have over 80 students that will be sitting in the city and guilds because at our school, we sign up some persons that are doing the CSEC along with the few doing the city and guilds. So welcome everyone. And even if you're not doing CSEC, even if you're not doing city and guilds rather, it's, it's like a foundation of mathematics and city and guilds, this is just the diagnostic test basically. So it's not the real test. So I don't think it is this easy. This is a test that is given to students to see what level they are at. So level three is the highest. Then you have level two and level one. Now level three is acceptable in all the universities in Jamaica, all the government workplaces. So if you wanna work at a bank, that's a commercial place though. If you wanna work at a bank, if you wanna be a fireman, if you wanna be a soldier, if you want to be a police, you can work. If you want to go to the University of West Indies, University of Technology, and you do not have CSEC maths, you can use this. Michael University College, Charter Teachers College, any teacher's college. So if you did your degree and you need maths and you can't pass maths, CSEC maths, you can do the city and get level three, 60 multiple choice, no question, no, you more question here. <laughs> No SBA, right? So there's no SBA, no paper two, just 60 multiple choice. What's stopping you guys from having a great future? All right, so let us begin. So 20 divided by this symbol is equal to five. The number that should replace the symbol is, so it asks you, what, what number when, 20 divided by what number give you five, right? So if we should transpose this, it would be four. 20 divided by that, that is pretty straightforward. Let's move on to two. And guys, you can try, try along. Find the value for P if 1,215 plus P is equal to 2,430. So we can just take the inverse of plus. So P is equal to, we're gonna transpose. So P is equal to 2,430. But remember, we must take the inverse. So we must minus it. So we just take it here, minus. So we're gonna minus this. Another way that we could have done it, guys, is to use these answers and add it up and solution of them give us this, right? But I just want you guys to have a certain structure. So we subtract five from 10, you can't. So that leave two. So right away, you can see that it is D because five is gonna leave five. This is the only one with five. So let's just, just check the same way. Two take away one, leave one. Two take away that, leave. Four take away two rather, and two minus one is one. So that is D. Let's go. What is the answer for this one? Many persons would have gotten this one in exam. Six fence posts are placed five meters apart. What is the distance from the first to the last post? What is the answer, guys? Tell me seriously. Many persons would have gotten this wrong. And I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. What's the answer? Type it in. Six fence posts are placed two meters apart. What is the distance from the first to the last post? Many persons will have gotten this wrong, and I'm sure. All right. Type it in. I'm going to give you guys 30 more seconds, and then we begin. All right, so let's go. So it says that the distance is five meters. So 
from here to here is five. And then Yo is, is going to get this wrong. From ear to ear is five. From ear to ear is five. From ear to ear is five. And from ear to ear is five. So now we have to add up all these five. Five plus five, 10, that's 15, 20, 25. Many of you would say that it is 30. All right. How many of the same items can I buy with $4,815 if one costs $15? This one was a bit of a giveaway. All we have to do is divide $4,815 by 15. So I personally think this one was a giveaway because these numbers are too big. So I think they should have 201, 202, and three are three twelve or something like that. But this one is a giveaway. But nevertheless, so fifteen to four you can't. Fifteen into forty eight goes three times. All right. Three times 15, that's 45. So five times that leave three. All right, so we carry on the one. We get the 31, right? So 15 into 30, that goes two times. So now we're gonna multiply two by 15, two times 15, that is 30. So when it's a big step by step, so right here we subtract now and we leave one. So now we're gonna carry down this five and then divide. So 15 into itself, one. One times 15 is 15. And we subtract and we get zero, zero. So it's three, 21. But this one was a giveaway. It was obvious from the start, all right? But if I do this. All right, so what is the smallest? Is it nine times six or eight times seven or five times 11 or 40 times one and a half? Let us investigate. Nine times six, I'm gonna put the answer for each. So that is 54. Eight times seven. That is fifty six. Next we have five times eleven. That is fifty five. The answers are very close. All right. Next we have forty times one and a half. This can be a bit tricky. 40 times a half of 20. Basically, you can just say half of 40 is 20 rather. So this is 60. So this can be the smallest, 9654. So it is C. All right, find the value for X if 36 divided by three minus three times two. Now let us do it follow the bundas rule, right? Very important, guys. The bundas rule say we're supposed to do the bracket first. So we're gonna say three times two, six. But it also says that we should divide before we subtract. So let us divide before we subtract. So 36 divided by three is 12. And then we subtract last. So 12 subtract six is six. So that is A. Notice guys, I'm going nice and easy, no rush. 
All right, so this one now, it's number seven. 38 plus 115 to the nearest 10 is equal to, so we can find out to the nearest 12, what we have to do is to what? find the sum or we add both numbers. So we're gonna add 38 plus 115 and see what we get. So it's one, one, five plus 38. All right, so eight and five is 30, three, sorry, one. Three and one plus that, so we get 153. But this is what he said, the nearest 10. So this is 153 nearer to 150. That's what it means. That's what it's actually asking. Or it is nearer to 160. Now, all of it is just drop off three and we get 150. Or we can add seven. Which one easier to do? And just drop off three. So 150 is nearer. Many persons would um, circle this because they think that it's the answer, it's not the sum. They did not ask you for the sum. They asked you for the nearest 10, so the nearest 10. Let's look, go to number eight. Last week, 1,500 fans attended the baseball match. This week, six times as many bought tickets but due to the weather conditions 250 fans have canceled their ticket how many are attending this week so let us read it very carefully so with maths guys we do it step by step we don't rush it we do it step by step we do what each step asks you to do so they say last week was 1,500 fans. So we get that. So let us establish that. So it's 1,500. That's the first information they gave us. What else they said? They said this week is six times as many. So we can multiply this by six. So we're going to do that step by step. 900, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0. Six times five is 30. Six, one, six, and that 90. So we're at 9,000, but that's not the answer because they gave us more information. Now we have to use up all the information. They say no. Two, due to the bad weather, bad weather, bad weather, due to the bad weather, 250 fans have canceled. So it means that this 250 right here will not be going so from this 9000 which is the total number of tickets purchased we're going to subtract the persons that are tier one and now go watch them netflix yeah so we subtract that and we get eight thousand seven kind of obvious guys so i don't want to because it couldn't be this right I'm smart, you know, then put this so, so people wouldn't read it without adding. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number nine. What is the value of two in the number five million three hundred and twenty eight thousand four hundred and seventy five? So, two, let us first identify where two is. So this is two. Just imagine that this was a number. So you're gonna start from this, right? This will be the number that we're looking for. So that's 28,475. So is it thousand? This is a thousand line, right? So that means this is the 10,000. See all them something there, very important, guys? 10,000. All right, number 10, let us look at this one. A worker ID, and I want you guys to figure out this one before I do it. A worker ID number consists of five digits with nine in the 10,000 place. So first, so that means that 10,000, that is nine, right? That is 1,000, 100, 10, ones. 
All right, and then say eight in the thousand, please. So eight is the next number. So let me go this now, guys. And two in the hundred, please. So this is what else it's in. Oh, then they give you zero. It says not zero in the ones, please. I didn't see that, you know. So zero, it must end with zero. And four in the tens, please. So 9,000, 28,240. So that is, don't see the answer yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, C. All right, so that would be C. Hope you guys got that. Which one, which of the following numbers represent 55,055? Is it 55? Five, five, or is it 555? Five, 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 or is it 5? This is 55,000. This is pretty straightforward. 55,055. There's no 100, right? Let's imagine I get up here 55,000 on $55 silver. All right, let's look at number 12. A woman bought some ear product for her ear salon. The total cost of the products was $185.75. How would she write this amount correctly in words? Oh, it's very easy. All right, so it's 185, so let's see that. 185, no, $185. And 75 cents. So here we have it $185.75. So that is B. All right, let's move on to number 13. Guys, you can go ahead of me um, and type in the answer. This is very easy, um, very good exercise for grade 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Even 11, it's a very good exercise for you guys. How many pounds of flour is required to make seven cakes if one cake make seven, if, if, if one cake takes one and a half pound? So how many cakes, how many pounds of flour is required to make if one, if one cake takes one and a half pounds. The answer is pretty obvious, but how would you work it? Suppose it was not multiple choice and you are to show working. How would you do that? All right, so how would you show working? So one cake or one and a half. So if you see that you can add one and a half, three, seven times, or we could just multiply, right? So we could say seven times one and a half. We're gonna do it this way. So we're gonna convert this. So one times two is two, and this is two over two. We're not gonna do the decimal way, just do the fraction. So seven over one times that, right? Seven trees, 21. One times two is two. Two into that leave. 10. And one over two. So it's 10 and a half. And guys, this answer was pretty obvious because if 2K could have take three pounds, right? And if I add it each time and then say, there's no way half pound could have been. So these, they should have give some answers higher. Because I, I'm not sure what they're doing, all right? Number 14, how long does a 220 mile trip take moving at 50 miles per hour? How long does a 220 mile, now, notice what they're asking for, time. I remember the triangle, right? I do this in class for my students. It's on the same channel also. So 
So we say distance is equal to speed times time. Whichever one we're looking for, we just mark it out, block it out, right? So we're looking for time. So it will be distance over speed. So what's the distance given? 120. And we divide it by five. It's very hard to write it, you know, guys. Five into two, you can't. Five into 20, four. It's gonna remain the what? Two. So two is gonna go right here. Um, this. Some people now go get so it's five divided by two twenty. Five into two, you can't five into twenty goes four times. So five fours twenty. So that leaves when you subtract now, this leaves two, carry down the zero. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. So it is C. Well, I'm not 50. Hold on, guys. It's actually 50 we're supposed to divide by. Something wrong, man. Something wrong. Remember about this. As I was wondering. Oh my god, you see that error there? Already? It is actually 50. So this is 50. So 220. So that you can't get 50 out of 220, so it's actually four times. And four times that will be 200. And then now, this would leave 20 over 50. I'll break it down to 250. Because I know this was the answer, so I was wondering what the hell. I mean, I get 44. All right, three. Let me go up here so I don't want you guys to be seeing that. Yet. Three and four fifth as a decimal number can be written as. So, all we have to do is just convert the four fifth. I know persons can do that. So, basically, what we're going to be doing is to say this four, the 4.2, and we divide it by five. Five into four, you can't. The decimal point on 5 into 40 goes 8 times 8, 5, 40. So this is E. Notice, guys, this, these are foundation. If 30 students took an exam and 10 of them fail, approximately what percent of them pass? So 10 of them. Field. That means 20 pass. So it's 20 out of the 30. And then we're going to reduce it. So it's 2 thirds, 2 thirds is the same thing as 66 or 67 percent. If 100, if 100 meter is equal to 1 kilometer, then 3.7 two five kilometer is the same as first of all guys what we have to do is just remember write it out three once you are multiplying by tens hundreds or so we're only gonna move the decimal piece right so but remember it's we have to look at the unit right so one kilometer is equal to 1,000. You can look at it, I want to read it. 
one kilometer can turn on the information if you see it here. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. So therefore, what would three, therefore, what would three kilometer equal? Not 3,000, right? So we know it's a multiplier, we can multiply. As we are converted to a smaller unit, right? So if you move from big to small, you multiply, all right? If it was the other way around, say you add meter and you're moving to kilometer, you would divide because it is as almost as if you take smaller units to do that, right? So we multiply, so we move three zeros. So we're gonna move this three decimal places. We're gonna move it three times. One, two, three. So the decimal point will go right here. So that is P. And if we to convert this to kilometer, it would divide, right? Let's look at 18. A man rented a land more from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and paid $288.40. What was the rental cost per hour? All right, so we want to find out the rent. So first, from nine to four, how many hours is that? Well, from nine to 10, that's a one, right? So nine to 10, that's a one, oh, we can continue to 11. Right, let's show you everything, you know, because we don't want people to understand what we are saying. Uh, may I do, let me see, uh, let me do. All right, so this is one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour, seven hours, right? So seven hours. So it's seven hours, so we're gonna divide 288, find four, Zero five seven. Seven, guys, seven, right? Seven fours, twenty eight. So this is a party one. But this is the only one with four. I have to work it out to the fullest. Number 19 says the measure of hot, the measure of how hot, warm, or cold the body is, is called its, is it the area, temperature, or the feeling? Feeling, feeling, feeling. So this is temperature. This one now, very tricky. How many degrees? Could be in how many degrees would the hour and move in four hours? All right, so first let us look at it technically. So it's a complete circle, so that means how many degrees in a circle? 360 degrees, right? And how many hands? 12. So we divide it by 12. So each one of them, between each one of the hands, then is 30 degrees so that we establish that and we move four hours now so one two three four and i did it first so this are 30 this plus 30 this are 30 so 30 60 90 120 right. let's just move on now a painter needs three quarter liter of tinner to complete a job. At the hardware, tinner is sold in the following sizes. 0 0.25 liter, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. Which of the bottles would give the just enough tinner to complete the job? So it's three quarter. So three quarter is the same thing as this. So let me put that tinner here. I want to say. 
Tina, 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 Tina. So that is B3. Very important. Just to mark the body, but to mark the answer. All right, let's look at this one now. Five friends decided to buy identical bags for school. Each bag cost $1,406. What was the total cost of the bags? All we have to do is to what? Multiply by five. That's a five bags. Or we can add it five times, but we don't want to do that, don't we? Multiplication is repeat addition. So five six thirty three carry zero five zero zero plus that gives us three five four twenty two carry zero five one five and that's seven so it's seven thousand and thirty dollars and I don't see that answer. Oh oh here we go. What should be the height of a rectangular block with a volume of 96 centimeter if the length is 8 centimeter and the width is 4? All right, first of all, guys, let us think about a rectangular block. Let me see if try and draw it for you guys. We have a vivid. Is not the ideal something. All right, so the volume is 96. How did they get the volume? One part is four. So the length is eight. The width right here is four. So what they did was see the length times the width times the height is the they got length times the width times the height. That's all you find the volume. So four is 32. So 32 times what? It's just called the height h. So 32 times what? Give you 96, right? So it's 96 divided by 32. So that is 3. Step by step now, guys. That's, you guys can see everything that I'm doing. I'm doing. So at 24, the triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. What is the measure of what is the measure of angle B if C is 42 degrees? Now what do we know about a right angle triangle? Or for all triangles for that matter, the internal angles, all of these three angles, when you add them up, how much we must get? 180 degrees, right? So that is true for all triangles, whether equilateral, isosceles, or whatever. But we know that this one here is 90. So it's 90 because it's a box, right? It's a right angle triangle plus 42 plus angle. We're just going to call it C. And we're going to do this two way C. And that is equal to 180 degrees. So this two plus zero is two, and that gives us 132. So therefore C is, the, we're gonna transpose now. If this and this add together, that, I'll have to take the, that from this bigger one and I get the answer. It not on. And that gives us 48. I'm going to show you another reasoning. I always discuss this with my students. Some of them say, if this is 90, right, it means this plus this is 90. So we could have just said C 
plus part of two is equal to 90 degrees. And if you want to use some fancy name for it, it is complementary, meaning both angles add up to 90 degrees. So C is equal to 90 minus 48. I'll still get the 48. So either way, it's perfectly correct. I know some person gonna say, why am I going to do the long, long I'm teaching guys, you can do the shortcut. I can't do the shortcut, teachers are not allowed that. Well, some teachers do it, but they should not do it. Don't so make no sense in it. Speaking of I are confused. My goal is of course, you can meditate and get whatever right. Hold on, come back then, so. The school bus usually arrives 6.45 a.m. on a Monday. Why it has to be a Monday? No, sir. Monday has stress. <laughs> Monday has stress. All right. So the school bus arrives at 6.45 a.m. On Monday morning, it was 20 minutes late. At what time did it finally arrive? Is it 6.25? No. Or is it 7 a.m.? Or is it 6.05 or is it 7.05? I think about that, guys. Everybody should know that. If you're late, it means the time around, though. So the time you're at, up by 20 minutes, so it's 7.05. If it's 6.25, it's early. If nobody wants to be early these days. I'm never late for my classes, you know, guys. Which of the following could be the measure of the adjacent size of a rectangle whose area is 60 centimeter. Which of the following could be the measure of the adjacent sides? Oh, the adjacent sides. So I look for it now. Draw the rectangle. No? All right. And we say the area of 60. So one, two numbers. So we multiply to give it 60. So this one could have been 12. And this is a five, that's how it goes. And that's 60 we're supposed to get. And then I can give it 60. 30 times 30. So 26, sorry. All right. This, this exam score distribution of 200 students at high school was 15%, 35%, got C. No. 15% got A, 35% got B, and C, we don't know, D, 30%, and F, 10%. How many students scored a C? Go ahead and try that one. I like this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. Guys, remember, these are just the beginning. The beginning, the beginning. The beginning, then I go get harder, harder. All right, so first we need to find out what percentage is represented. So we can just add these. So 15 plus this, that's 50, 80, 90, right? So let's check what this again, because um, it's a 40, 75, 80, 90. So 10 percent pass. But it's not that that's not the answer. You know, you know if I have to run and start them students. What we have to do is to find 10% of 200 students, right? So 10% mean out of 100 times 200. What 10% actually mean, guys, is that 10 of it make 100. So if we could divide it by 10, we will get the answer soon. So we divide 200 by 10 and we get 20. So that is C. Roman! man. Tell me, tell him to come tell him to come with us. I know All right. The table below shows, yeah, man. The table below shows the time of an athlete ran five races at the same distance. So race one, you ran 9.38 seconds. That looks like bowl time, you know. 
two, nine point five seven seconds, three, nine point zero six seconds. And Olympic time for people, Tokyo, be go for the serve. And four, 10.02 seconds, fifth, 9.98 seconds. His fourth fastest time would be, let's, remember the lowest time is the fastest. So let us look at the lowest. This will be the fastest. So it's a one. Boy, stop me talking now. I'm recording something. May, may I get tired of indiscipline now? You know? All right, so this now would be this. Oh, Lord. See that? This becomes two. The third fastest will be this. So this is the answer. The fourth fastest. 9.98 seconds. That sounds like a half a time. And everyone run through in a um, final, that one fast and certain times. They go for self as half a point. The table below shows the time in minutes that it took 35 students to solve a math problem. All right, so we get the minutes and we get the number of students. So what it is saying that one student took one minute, 10 students took two minutes, four students took three minutes, and zero students took four minutes. All right. So it's a no. How many students answer the question in less than five minutes? So first, it's a less than five minutes. It was a less than equal. So first, we have to identify the five minutes, which is here. So all of the students below this, right? So let's have to add this one and that 11 and that 15. So 15 students to come. 15 students. Guys, this is a big disturbance. Huh? So there you go. All right, let me just kind of um, drag them with a little. Everybody can see that. This is the last one, guys. Favorite types of movies. I remember, this is not the actual exam, this is a warm up. I will be doing some past papers and so. In a survey, 40 adults were asked to state their favorite movie. The bar graph show above gives the response of these persons, which movie type was the most favorite in the survey. So let us go now. Is it comedy? Eight persons love comedy right here. Six persons love drama, but it's action. 12 people love action. It's sci-fi. Four persons were romance. Oh my, love 10. So it is action. The tallest bar represents the most. And we have come to the end of the test. All right, guys. So let's go back. This is 30. If, if a person got 28, that person would qualify for 28 and up to qualify for level three. If you got 50, between 15 and 27, that would be level two. And the rest would be level one, obviously. All right, guys. So look out. This is a warm up for the city angles. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Guys, the reason I'm doing this, I want it to be a program. We're going to do it from scratch. So here's to come. Persons can just come and watch it. The videos one by one, and they can get their distinction in city and gills level three. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mr. Bennett, appreciate you all. Please remember to like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, or you want to discourage me, put that thumbs down. I do okay, guys. I can't be discouraged. I'm just an hard worker. Doesn't matter. All right, see you guys in the next video. I'm out, no doubt.